The Ram T-Rex, the king of the jungle. It's like king of the dinosaurs or half ton pickup trucks. The Ram TRX is the most gnarly and capable half ton pickup truck coming off of a manufacturer's assembly line. This obviously is not that. What we have here is a 2020 trail boss that we're putting our own little spin with inspiration both from the TRX and the Ford Raptor. Both Ford and Ram have implemented aesthetically something here on the front end of their vehicles that General Motors has just completely opted out. So what we're doing today is in fact that, but putting our own little spin on it as we always do here on this channel and in this garage, a big mahalo to Athletic Greens for sponsoring today's video. Aloha and welcome back to paradise. Let's go. So if you guys are new around here, this is a 2020 Silverado LT Trail Boss, about 40,000 miles. This is our family vehicle, but it does have quite a few call it modifications and it's a little bit far from stock. The main thing we're gonna be staring at today a lot is this hood. So this is an RK Sport Ram Air hood. It's actually a functional Ram Air and fairly pricey. However, when we received the hood in the first place, it didn't look like a pricey hood. And we spent the first weekend with the hood fixing the hood. And then we decided to go ahead and try and wrap it in this carbon fiber vinyl and it looks phenomenal. So the goal today is to implement some LED lights within that front functional hood scoop, similar to the Ram TRX. It's like 55 degrees right now, but over the last three days, we've had four inches of ice, which melted today. And we did have a chance to have a little bit of fun in these uh, slick conditions. So step one today, guys, is in fact cleaning this thing up because there's salt, dirt, grime, and just a whole lot of junk. We're gonna blast this stuff off, get the truck in the garage, and start working on what in the heck we're doing. All right, we'll get started in the morning. Finishing up our New Year's resolution morning routine. We were up at 4 a.m. this morning, did two and a half hours of silent meditation, proceeded to a one hour ice bath and 14 degree of water, all while reading highly intelligent self development books. We then knocked out our three and a half hour daily session of high cardio full body workouts, which strategically utilized 37 inch rubber. Interpret that how you will. However, with as unrealistic social media has made morning routines, there is one thing that is actually realistic in this world. Let's be honest. Expert recommended morning routines have become nothing short of ridiculous. Now, there's one daily habit that I've adopted that's been helping me take ownership of my health, and it happens to be the sponsor of today's video, which is AG1 by Athletic Greens. What this is is 75 vitamins, minerals, and whole food sourced ingredients in one simple daily habit. First thing I do when I wake up on an empty stomach is to chug this bad boy down and it helps me out through the day. If I'm being honest with myself, I'm approaching my mid thirties. Ah, you're so young. Like for example, all the shenanigans you just did with the tires, I'm gonna feel that in like three days. I'm getting older and this is helping me sustain energy throughout the day and it keeps me from crashing at night like I used to when I was chugging down 200, 300 milligrams of caffeine per day. Now, with all of this sarcasm aside, I genuinely love my AG1. I've been drinking it every single day. It's been over four months now and I've seen a difference both from a sustained energy standpoint and also clarity and focus. Now, for you guys, there's a special link in the description below or right here to get started with your first purchase of AG1 by Athletic Greens. If you act quick, they're throwing in an entire one year supply of vitamin D3 and K2 with that order on top of five free travel packs. Support the brands that support this channel. Thank you again to Athletic Greens for sponsoring today's video. Let's get working on the truck. collecting LED lights over the last several months, including some tents, because the original plan was to find an LED light that I liked, slap three of them here in that Ram Air hood, like the Ram TRX, and call it good. But to run the wires correctly, to mount this thing up properly, I can't be doing that. And unfortunately, I think the right way to do this thing, we're gonna have to break out a cutting wheel today. So this hood by RK Sport is actually pretty cool because it is fully functional. That Ram Air actually forces that air ducting directly here on top of 
our air box. Now, funny enough, these Silverado air boxes actually pull air from up here, not, not there. So it works, but it doesn't work if you catch my drift. But before we pull the hood off, we need to make a decision on which LEDs we are actually going with. We have four different types of LEDs here. This one I picked up from AutoZone. Very bright and I threw some different tints on here just to see what it looked like. And of course, not to discriminate, we actually got a set from O'Reilly's. And to further not discriminate, we got a set from Amazon and eBay. This is one of those dynamic LED lights. They look pretty cool, but I think it's a little bit cheesy. I don't know if we're gonna go with that one. We're gonna make a decision between the Amazon light and the AutoZone. Lights. If you look at the Amazon one where it comes out from the package, it has these little tabs on both sides that we're gonna either trim off for it to flushly mount on the AutoZone one. Kind of the same deal, but here in the corners. So we're gonna take our Dremel, cut them up just a little bit. That way we can mock them up and actually make our final decision on which one we're going with on the truck. All right, trying out our AutoZone. All right, guys. Thoughts on option, man, that looks really good. <laughs> option one. Pros and cons here. The con being where the power actually comes into the light. So the Amazon one, if you look at it, the power actually comes in the backside because we can run the wires directly behind this mesh. These, however, have the wires coming out the side so we can tuck them there behind, but they will always be visible no matter kind of what we do there. I think that's gonna be the winner, guys. Those look really clean in there. You don't see them. I also like the color temperature of these a little bit better. I'm not gonna plug all three of those in, but just for perspective, that is our color temperature. These are the exact same lights we installed on the underside of our mirrors on our 07 Silverado. And then these actually illuminate when you hit the unlock button. It's nice to have a little bit of a puddle light there underneath and it looks pretty dynamic. So I think these are our winner, guys. So now we gotta figure out how in the world I'm gonna get behind this mesh screen to run these wires through the hood over here somewhere to get some power. Can you help me lift the hood off? Hmm? Hello. Boy, it's a big stretch. Aha! And here is the fun part. Now, really quick before we get too far, a lot of questions on the Makaha Runner, what's going on with that and these 37s. Right now, I'm just enjoying driving this. This was down for several weeks when we installed our long travel suspension kit from CWF. It's running so good that I'm just enjoying driving it. Now, when we start on our fenders and bedsides, it's going to be down for a few weeks again. So I figure before then, just enjoy it as is. So this is coming in a few weeks. Don't worry, this is coming back. We have Fiberworks fenders, Fiberworks bedsides. They're gonna be hitting this, which will allow our 37 by 13 and a half inch tires to go on here. These are 33, so it's gonna be absolutely massive. Just right now, shifting our focus just a little bit for a little bit on the 2020 Trail Boss, our Big Z. So right now, I gotta figure out how in the world I'm gonna get behind that mesh grill and mount three LEDs. I don't want to cut this thing up, but it's time. I ordered some rubber weather stripping that we're actually gonna run along the edge of this piece once it's off. And when we replace it, that should seal up that edge from any water debris falling into the engine bay. But on top of that, I'm gonna fabricate a bracket and put a bolt on it. So I actually remove it later on when we go to do some other stuff within that hood scoop later on. I'll say it is a little bit nerve wracking taking a cutoff wheel to a $1,200 hood. Turned out pretty good. We got our piece when we're all said and done with this thing. It's gonna go right back there when we're done. So we actually have plenty of space now to work on the backside of this grill. We're gonna be able to mount those three lights nice and tight. Oh, I'm excited.
right, guys, it's going pretty well. We have our three lights installed onto the mesh screen. Fun fact, I found out that mesh screen is actually installed crooked. So it's actually like kinked upward. So getting these things lined up in the measurement between these lights exact and the edge, it was difficult, we got it done. And because this is visible, from the other side looking into the mesh, I'm gonna try and hide these wires the best I can. We're gonna take a hot glue gun and just tack these wires up across the top. That way I can run these wires down the passenger side of the hood. I'm gonna drill a small hole on this end of the hood, that way I can pop out the wire, run it to the fuse box. We're gonna use a fuse tap to power these tree lights. I don't want to hear you guys making fun of my wiring mess, but we have everything wired up. This was a pain in the butt to route this through just because of the fiberglass, how it works, and routing this underneath and cutting my hand to pieces. We got it. We have our positive and negative wire coming out the side of the hood, which in theory on the other side is going to be just on the outside of the bracket. So we actually run it down to that fuse box. But what we're going to do now is cross our fingers this actually worked because I haven't tested it yet. Negative goes to positive, positive goes to negative. We have liftoff. Yes, let's go. Woo. Once again, please don't judge the wiring job, but we're good. All three lights work. All the wires are bonded with hot glue. Just kind of tacked it up against the top of that fiberglass. But now I got a gaping hole I got to deal with. I got to build a bracket and mount that thing back up. This is just a strip of aluminum from Ace Hardware, nothing special. There's three strings of it going across, mounted a nut and washer on the back side, and then have a bolt and washer here. So basically just screws directly into it. We have this rubber seal that goes around and hopefully is going to seal that off. Regular rubber seal, nothing special. And when we decide to do our really cool rock lights, I can come back, just loosen these guys up. That plate pulls off and I have full access again. I swear, these projects are a lot easier in my head and then I go to try to do them and it just it takes forever, but it's fun. I'm having fun. So uh, I'm gonna actually go ahead and clean this mess up and then we're gonna strap this bad boy back on Big Z. All right, we're back transparently. It's been a few days, but uh, that looks epic. We put the hood back on, got it lined back up, and our three lights. Oh, that looks so good. So happy we went with that one. That's the most ghosted in option that we had out of our lights. It looks as if it belongs there. Okay, kind of. There are much worse options. So what we're doing now, number one, is we gotta get these lights functional. So we're gonna go ahead and utilize our fuse tap to tap into our fuse box here. I'm gonna tap it into a miscellaneous ignition fuse. Essentially what's gonna happen when you turn the ignition on, those lights illuminate. When you turn the ignition off, they turn off. So they're gonna be on all the time that the truck is on. I kind of want that. If you want to change it up later on, we'll just move the fuse tap somewhere else. And then the next thing we're gonna do is start playing around with some of our tent colors. This is a chameleon green ocean-ish tint. It kind of does tie in a little bit. And I'm gonna see what we can do with this on the lights. We have our positive and ground wire here, which we're gonna tap into our fuse box, which lies under this lid. So I actually found a miscellaneous ignition, which is number 40. It's a 10 amp fuse right there at the bottom. So what we're gonna do is utilize this fuse tap. This is a micro two, put that in there. And we got power running to our three lights. And then our ground, we're just gonna simply ground this thing probably here on the frame rail. And just like Lay's, we'll be golden.
Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty happy about this one. The Ram TRX style lights on our 2020 Silverado Trail Boss, I think does in fact look better. That looks phenomenal. Now when it comes to our chameleon wrap, I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna keep this. I think it looks pretty cool in the daylight because you get that green tint. However, when the lights are on, it looks a little bit like clown paint to me, but eh, we'll see. That was a lot of work. Getting this hood off, cutting the access panel, cleaning that all up, creating the bracket to put the panel back on, running all the wires. Gosh dang it, this truck looks good. I love it. Chevy, you're missing out on an opportunity. This looks good. Put it on your trail bosses because everybody wants it. Including an LT4 underneath that hood. I want to thank you guys for joining me for today's video and hanging out until this point in the video. If you haven't yet, please smash that like button below. It helps me out, helps this channel continue to grow. If you haven't joined the Lone Star Hawaiian family just yet, there's a subscribe button down there as well. Again, thank you AG1 for sponsoring today's video. We will catch you in a few days for our next video. So that day comes as always. Y'all take care. Ahoy ho. Aloha. God bless Texas. Because apparently this is good for you, according to the internet. Cold and broccoli.